Welcome to a new season and new program I have in store for you with English Plus Podcast. I'm your host, Danny, and this is a new episode and brand new series of episodes in our show, and it's called Vocabulary Voyages. The content I'm using for this episode comes from my book, Vocabulary Voyages, but don't worry, you don't need the book to enjoy the wealth of knowledge and vocabulary building we're going to have in this series. I will share everything with you within the episode. However, if you would like to get the PDF version of the book for free, and I repeat here, completely for free, all you have to do is head over to my website, EnglishPlusPodcast.com, sign up to my mailing list, which you can find right on the homepage, and you will receive a full PDF version of the book for free. But as I said, that's completely optional. But that's not everything. You will find a link in the description of this episode that will take you to the custom post I created for this episode, not only with a transcript, but also with extra practice you can use to master what you will learn in this episode from crossword puzzles to Quizlet interactive activities and more. In Vocabulary Voyages, we're going to start with a story that is centered around a keyword. And our keyword for today is love. Then after we finish the story, we will unlock the meaning of 15 keywords from the context of the story. And by doing this, you will be learning new words in context, which will help you retain these words and make them a permanent part of your vocabulary bank. Then I will go on and focus on five words of choice and go in depth talking about these words as I used to do in my word power episodes from season eight. So buckle up for an exciting and informative ride with English Plus and Vocabulary Voyages with me, your host, Danny, and a brand new season of language and knowledge delights from English Plus Podcast. All right, let's start right away with our story about our keyword for today, love. In the village of Emotis, where every word had life and character, and emotions flowed like rivers through the hearts of its people, there lived a word that was both mysterious and profound. A word that danced in the minds of the young and old alike. Love. Love was not just a mere expression in emotis. It was a living, breathing entity. An emotion that knew no bounds. It was a complex set of feelings that united the people. It tied together families, created friendships, and sparked joy that was unparalleled. A little girl named Sophia once asked her grandmother, Grandma, what is love? The old woman, her eyes twinkling like stars, replied, My dear, love is like the sunshine that warms our skin, the rain that nurtures our gardens, the wind that guides our way. Sophia listened intently, and as her grandmother continued, the stories of love filled her heart. Love was there when Farmer Tom gave his last loaf of bread to a stranger in need, even when his own stomach was rumbling with hunger. Love was there in the gentle words of encouragement from teacher Sarah to a child who struggled to read. Love was there when a young man named Ethan saved a puppy nursing it back to health, creating an unbreakable bond. In the heart of the village stood a giant oak tree, its branches reaching out like open arms. It was under this tree that proposals were made, promises were sealed, friendships were formed, and forgiveness was granted. This tree was the symbol of love in Emotis, a reminder that love was not merely an emotion, but a profound affection that could shape lives. Years passed, and Sophia grew into a wise and loving woman. She became the embodiment of love in the village, helping others, nurturing relationships, and spreading warmth wherever she went. People would often say, Sophia doesn't just speak of love, she lives it. As time went on, love continued to thrive, weaving its way into every heart and soul. It was not merely a word, but a philosophy, a way of life. People from neighboring villages would come to Emotis to witness the love that flowed there, to learn from it, and to be inspired. And now it's your turn. 
you who sit there reading these words. Remember that love is not just a complex set of emotions and attitudes or a profound affection. It's the sunshine in someone's storm, the gentle hand that guides, the unspoken understanding, the forgiveness that heals. Embrace love in its entirety. Let it guide you and become a living example of it. For in the end, love is not something you find. It's something you create, something you become. Carry it with you, share it with others, and let it be the compass that directs your path. That's the true power of love, and it's within your reach, always. All right, that was our story. I hope you enjoyed it, and now it's time to unlock the meaning of 15 key words from the story. I'm not going to simply tell you about the words and their meaning, but I will make things a little more interesting by asking you questions about these words, and you will have to guess which word we're talking about. Are you ready to add 15 words to your vocabulary bank? Guess the words is coming next, so don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Welcome to Guess the Words, where I'm not just going to tell you about the 15 keywords from our episode, but I will have you guess them on your own. Well now, don't panic, I will give you the answer eventually, but you will benefit a lot from trying to guess the words yourself. So you can pause the episode and try to figure out which word we're talking about, or you can just listen, learn, and enjoy. But before we start, remember, all the words I'm going to ask you about are from our story, so that might help you find the words a little faster. And now, let's get started with our Guess the Words in our Vocabulary Voyages series. Well, let's start with a riddle. In every heart I make a home. Wherever people care and roam, I'm deeper than the deepest sea, a force that bonds like family. Which word am I? Did you guess which word from our story we're talking about? Do you need another clue? All right. When your heart feels like it's doing a little dance every time you think of someone and their happiness becomes a critical part of your own, you're experiencing this. It's that powerful force that draws people together in a way that nothing else can. How about now? Do you know which word we're talking about? I'll give you a hint. It's a four-letter word and it starts with L. Think about it and I'll be right back. The word we're talking about here is love. A complex set of emotions and attitudes. Profound affection. Now let's move on to the next word. Well, let's start with a riddle. I can be happy, sad, or tense. I'm how you feel. It just makes sense. I'm neither solid, liquid, nor a gas. But in every soul, I'm sure to pass. Which word am I? Did you guess which word from our story we're talking about? Do you need another clue? All right. This is the color palette of your inner world. Joy can paint your day in bright yellows, while sadness can drape it in deep blues. Without these, life would be like a blank canvas. How about now? Do you know which word we're talking about? I'll give you a hint. It's a seven-letter word, and it starts with E. Think about it, and I'll be right back. The word we're talking about here is emotion, a strong feeling often accompanied by physical sensations and thoughts. And now let's move on to the next word. Well, let's start with a riddle. A tender touch or warm embrace, a heartfelt smile on someone's face. With me, the bonds of friendship tighten. I'm a way to love that's sure to brighten. Which word am I? What about this one? Did you guess which word from our story we're talking about? Do you need another clue? All right. It's that warm, fuzzy feeling you get when you hug your dog tight or hold a loved one's hand. It's the silent language of care and closeness. How about now? Do you know which word we're talking about? I'll give you a hint. It's a nine-letter word and it starts with A. Think about it and I'll be right back.
The word we're talking about here is affection. Warm and gentle feelings of fondness and care towards someone or something. And now let's move on to the next word. Well, again, as usual, let's start with a riddle. Unknown and dark, I lurk in tales. In every quest that often fails. I'm that which keeps your interest keen. What's hidden and not easily seen. Which word am I? Did you guess which word from our story we're talking about? Well, do you need another clue? All right. When something sparks your curiosity, but refuses to reveal its secrets easily, it's inviting you into this realm. It's the allure of the unknown, the charm of the unanswered question. How about now? Do you know which word we're talking about? I'll give you a hint. It's a 10-letter word, and it starts with M. Think about it, and I'll be right back. The word we're talking about here is mysterious. Something that is not easily understood or explained, invoking curiosity. Now let's move on to the next word. Again, let's start with the riddle. Deep as oceans, clear as skies. I'm full of weight and heavy ties. More significant than you may find, I'm a truth that's not just in your mind. Which word am I? Did you guess which word from our story we're talking about? Or maybe you need another clue. Okay. When something strikes you deeply and significantly, almost like a truth that reverberates in your soul, you're touching on something with this quality. It's more than just interesting. It's deeply meaningful. How about now? Do you know which word we're talking about? I'll give you a hint. It's an eight-letter word, and it starts with P. Think about it, and I'll be right back. The word we're talking about here is profound, deep, and meaningful, having a significant impact on one's thoughts and feelings. And now let's move on to the next word. And let's start with a riddle. I might be abstract. I might be real. I have a name and a certain feel. I exist, though not always in sight, a being with nature, depth, and light. Which word am I? Did you guess which word from our story we're talking about? Another clue? All right. Imagine something that exists as distinct and separate as you are from the tree outside your window. It's not necessarily a living thing, but it stands alone in the world as a single unit. How about now? Do you know which word we're talking about? I'll give you a hint. It's a six-letter word and it starts with E. Think about it and I'll be right back. The word we're talking about here is entity, a distinct and independent being, often with its own characteristics and attributes. And now let's move on to the next word. Well, let's start with a riddle. Second to none and in class alone, like a king or queen who sits on a throne. Unique and unmatched, I stand apart. I'm a peak of excellent, a work of art. Which word am I? Did you guess which word from our story we're talking about? Do you need another clue? Okay. Picture something so extraordinary that nothing else can even come close to comparing. It's in a league of its own. A shining star that outshines all others. How about now? Do you know which word we're talking about? I'll give you a hint. It's a 12-letter word and it starts with you. Think about it and I'll be right back. Well, the word we're talking about here is unparalleled, unequaled, and exceptional, standing out from everything else. And now let's move on to the next word. Well, let's start with the riddle. Like sun to a plant or a parent's embrace, I help you grow and find your place. From seeds to souls, in care I believe, in me, potential you will achieve. Which word am I? Did you guess which word from our story we're talking about? You need another clue? All right. 
it's what a gardener does to help a plant grow, giving it just the right amount of water, sun, and love. It's the act of caring and encouraging growth in plants, in minds, in hearts. How about now? Do you know which word we're talking about? I'll give you a hint. It's a seven-letter word, and it starts with N. Think about it, and I'll be right back. The word we're talking about here is nurture, to care for and encourage the growth and development of someone or something. And now let's move on to the next word. Well, again, let's start with a riddle. A hand on your back, a cheer in your ear, I am the force that helps you persevere. With me by your side, you're sure to go far. I am the wind beneath your rising star. Which word am I? Did you guess which word from our story we're talking about? Do you need another clue? Okay. It's like giving someone a little nudge on the back. A you can do it whispered in their ear when they need it most. It's the fuel that helps others keep going, even when the road gets tough. How about now? Do you know which word we're talking about? I'll give you a hint. It's a 13 letter word and it starts with E. Think about it and I'll be right back. All right, the word we're talking about here is encouragement. Positive words or actions that inspire and motivate others. And now let's move on to the next key word. Well, again, let's start with a riddle. When anger fades and hearts unbind, I am the peace that you will find. Letting go, though the pain was strong, I'm the path that rights a wrong. Which word am I? Did you guess which word from our story we're talking about? Do you need another clue? All right. This is when your heart decides that it's time to unclench, release the pain, and allow room for peace. It's letting go of the tight grip of resentment, and it's a gift that you give to yourself as much as to another. How about now? Do you know which word we're talking about? I'll give you a hint. It's an 11-letter word, and it starts with F. Think about it, and I'll be right back. The word we're talking about here is forgiveness, the act of pardoning someone for a mistake or wrongdoing, letting go of resentment. Now, let's move on to the next word, and let's start with a riddle. Not just in thought, in form I'm clear. When you look at me, the concept's near. In flesh and bone, or stone and wood, I make ideas be understood. Which word am I? Did you guess which word from our story we're talking about? Do you need another clue? All right. When something is a perfect example, almost like a living, breathing representation of a certain quality or idea, it's this. It's more than just showing. It's being. How about now? Do you know which word we're talking about? I'll give you a hint. It's a 10-letter word, and it starts with E. Think about it, and I'll be right back. The word we're talking about here is embodiment, a representation or manifestation of a particular quality or idea. And now let's move on to the next word. Well, let's start with a riddle. In sorrow's eye, I am the tear wiped away, a friend that's true and never led astray. I'm warmth and love when times are tough, a hand that's held when life is rough. Which word am I? Did you guess which word from our story we're talking about? Do you need another clue? All right. Imagine feeling someone else's pain, then wrapping that pain in a blanket of warmth and kindness. It's when your heart reaches out to others when they are suffering. How about now? Do you know which word we're talking about? I'll give you a hint. It's a 10-letter word, and it starts with C. Think about it, and I'll be right back. The word we're talking about here is compassion. Deep sympathy and concern for the suffering of others leading to a desire to help. And now let's move on to the next word. 
and let's start with the riddle. I am more than knowledge, deeper than facts, guiding you wisely in theory and in acts. Earned over time, through trial and strife, I am the seasoned guide through life. Which word am I? Did you guess which word from our story we're talking about? Do you need another clue? All right. This isn't just being smart. It's having deep understanding and insight that comes from experience. It's knowing not just what, but also why and how. How about now? Do you know which word we're talking about? I'll give you a hint. It's a six-letter word and it starts with W. Think about it and I'll be right back. Well, the word we're talking about here is wisdom. Deep understanding and knowledge gained through experience and reflection. And now let's move on to the next word. And let's start with the riddle. A sparks within that lights the way. I'm the dawn that starts a brand new day. From art to action, in me you trust. To lift you up when you adjust. Which word am I? Did you guess which word from our story we're talking about? Do you need another clue? All right. It's that electric spark that suddenly ignites your mind and heart, pushing you to create, to change, to act. It's the wind that fills your sails and propels you forward. How about now? Do you know which word we're talking about? I'll give you a hint. It's an 11-letter word, and it starts with I. Think about it, and I'll be right back. The word we're talking about here is inspiration, something that stimulates creativity, enthusiasm, or new ideas in others. And now let's move on to the next word, and let's start with a riddle. In pondered thought and reasoned line, through me, life's big questions you define. I'm not just thought, but how to live. The love of wisdom that I give. Which word am I? Did you guess which word from our story we're talking about? Do you need another clue? All right. It's like a map for your thoughts, a framework that helps you explore the big questions of life, existence, and morality. It's the love of wisdom and a guide for how to think, not what to think. How about now? Do you know which word we're talking about? I'll give you a hint. It's a 10-letter word, and it starts with P. Think about it, and I'll be right back. Well, the word we're talking about here is philosophy, a set of beliefs and principles that guide one's thoughts, actions, and way of life. And with this word, we come to the end of our Guess the Word section of the episode. But don't go anywhere. I still have the last section and that is about the VIP words that I choose every time and I go a little deeper into their meaning. So don't go anywhere as I'll be right back with the last section of our episode, Word Power. All right, in our Word Power section, we will dive a little deeper into some of the words that I chose from the 15 words we've already talked about. These are the VIP words that I choose every time to shine a little more light on. And for today, we have five VIP words. Mysterious, profound, unparalleled, compassion, and inspiration. You're in for a wild ride into the essence and meanings of these words, so buckle up as we start with our first VIP word, mysterious. Mysterious. The very utterance of this word unfurls like a mist over an ancient forest, whispering secrets of hidden realms and stories untold. It's a word that dances on the edge of the known and the unknown, a bridge between reality and the realms of imagination. Mysterious is not just a word, it's an invitation, a siren's call to the curious soul, urging them to look beyond the mundane, to seek the extraordinary in the ordinary. At the heart of mysterious lies the essence of human curiosity, that insatiable thirst for understanding the unknown. 
It is the same driving force that propelled great explorers to traverse uncharted seas and inspired scientists to unravel the enigmas of the universe. The mysterious beckons us to question, to wonder, to imagine. It's a catalyst for discovery, both of the world around us and the unexplored territories within our own minds. In every culture across all ages, the mysterious has been celebrated and revered. Ancient myths and legends are steeped in mystery, from the Greek tales of gods and heroes to the mystical folklore of the Celts. These stories, passed down through generations, are not just entertainment. They are the threads that weave the tapestry of human experience, connecting us to our past and to each other. Consider the Mona Lisa, Leonardo da Vinci's masterpiece. What has captivated millions over centuries is not just the skillful artistry, but the mystery of her smile. Is it a smirk, a sign of contentment, or a hidden message? This mystery transforms a painting into a living enigma, a source of endless speculation and intrigue. Mysterious things often find their way into our everyday lives too. Think of a chance encounter that leads to a lifelong friendship or a serendipitous discovery that changes the course of one's career. The universe seems to operate on a frequency of mystery, weaving events in a tapestry too intricate for us to immediately understand. In the realm of love and relationships, mystery plays a pivotal role. It's in the unspoken words, the lingering glances and the shared moments where words are needless. Mystery in love keeps the flame of curiosity alive urging partners to continually explore and appreciate each other's depths. In the natural world, mystery manifests in the awe-inspiring phenomena that surround us. The northern lights, with their ethereal dance across the sky, have been a source of wonder and folklore for millennia. The depths of the ocean, largely unexplored, hold secrets to life forms and ecosystems that challenge our understanding of biology. But the beauty of the mysterious is not just in the grand and the extraordinary. It's also in the small, everyday mysteries that surround us. The way the leaves rustle in a certain way before a storm. The unexpected bloom of a flower in a crack in a pavement. The fleeting moment of deja vu. All are small mysteries that add a layer of wonder to our daily lives. The power of the mysterious lies in its ability to inspire. It nudges poets to pen verses that capture the ineffable, encourages scientists to push the boundaries of what is known, and beckons each of us to ponder, to dream, to explore. In a world that often values answers over questions, the mysterious reminds us of the joy and growth found in the search, in the journey. In embracing mystery, we accept that not everything can or should be explained. We find peace in the unknown, understanding that it is a space not of fear, but of possibility. For in the mysterious lies the potential for infinite wonder, the seed of imagination, and the gateway to realms beyond our wildest dreams. The mysterious, therefore, is not just a word. It's a celebration of the unexplainable, a testament to the human spirit's quest for the extraordinary, and a gentle reminder that in the grand tapestry of life, there's always more than meets the eye. Profound, a word that resonates deeply within the chambers of the soul, echoing through the corridors of our deepest thoughts and feelings. When we speak of something as profound, we speak of depths not easily fathomed, of insights that don't merely skim the surface but dive into the very essence of existence. This is a word that carries the weight of worlds, a word that speaks of the vastness of the ocean as much as the unfathomable reaches of the human heart. To call something profound is to acknowledge its extraordinary impact, to recognize that it has reached into the core of our being and altered us in some elemental way. It's the wisdom found in an elderly person's eyes, reflecting lives lived, loves lost, and lessons learned. It's in the poignant silence between lovers, 
a silence rich with unspoken understanding and shared experiences. Profound experiences are those that stay with us, changing the lens through which we view the world. Think of the profound moments in history, those turning points that have shaped civilizations, the signing of a peace treaty that ends years of conflict, the first human steps on the moon, the fall of the Berlin Wall. These aren't just events. They are profound testimonies to human resilience, ambition, and the constant quest for progress. They remind us that our actions, too, can ripple through time and space, affecting generations to come. In literature, the profound often surfaces in words that reach into our very being, urging us to see and feel the world differently. It's in the lines of a poem that perfectly captures the bittersweet tang of nostalgia, or in a novel that explores the complexities of human nature. These works endure because they speak to something universal, something deeply rooted in the human experience. The profound is also intensely personal. It's in those moments of quiet reflection when we come face to face with our innermost thoughts and fears. It's in the realization of our own morality, in the birth of a child, in the quiet surrender to love. These are the moments that define us, that shape our understanding of who we are and what we value. Science, too, reveals profound truths about our world and our place in it. Consider the mind-bending revelations of quantum physics or the awe-inspiring realities uncovered by cosmology. These disciplines invite us to ponder questions that have intrigued humanity for centuries. What is the nature of reality? How did the universe begin? What is our role in this vast cosmic dance? Yet the profound is not always grand or earth-shattering. It can be found in the simplest of things, in the delicate pattern of frost on a window pane, in the intricate dance of leaves in the wind, or in the unconditional love of a pet. These everyday wonders invite us to look closer, to appreciate the magic and mystery of the ordinary. The profound also has a transformative power in our personal lives. It's in those epiphanies that come during a long walk or in the quiet hours of the night. Realizations that shift our perspective and guide our choices. It's in the resilience of those who have faced adversity and emerged with a deeper understanding of life and a greater appreciation for the moments of joy and peace. To embrace the profound is to live fully, to remain open to the depth and richness of experience. It's to recognize that within every moment, every interaction, every thought, there is a potential for depth and significance. The profound teaches us to value the journey as much as the destination, to find meaning in the search, and to appreciate the beauty and complexity of the human experience. In a world that often prizes the superficial, the profound offers a sanctuary, a deeper way of seeing and being. It invites us to slow down, to ponder, to feel deeply. In doing so, we connect not only with the essence of our own being, but with the universal human story. A story of endless depth, endless learning, and endless possibility. Unparalleled, a word that dances on the tongue and conjures images of realms beyond the ordinary speaks of a uniqueness so rare that it stands alone in its glory. It's a term that defies comparison, transcending the usual scales of measurement. When we say something is unparalleled, we're not just acknowledging its excellence. We're recognizing a quality so singular that it escapes the bounds of normalcy, radiating a brilliance that captivates and astonishes. In the realms of human achievement, Unparalleled feats are those that rewrite the records of history and redefine the limits of possibility. Think of the awe-inspiring accomplishments of astronauts who, against monumental odds, set foot on the moon, declaring not just a victory for a nation, but a triumph for all of humanity. Their courage and determination were not just extraordinary, they were unparalleled, making a moment in time that stands distinct and revered. 
In the world of art and creativity, unparalleled works are those that break new ground, challenging perceptions and evoking emotions in ways never before experienced. Consider the timeless masterpieces of artists like Leonardo da Vinci or the literary genius of Shakespeare. Their works are not just celebrated for their technical skill or beauty. They are unparalleled in their ability to speak to the deepest aspects of the human experience resonating through centuries. The natural world, too, is replete with unparalleled wonders. The majestic expanse of the Grand Canyon, carved over millions of years, presents a spectacle of natural beauty and grandeur that stands unmatched. The breathtaking display of the Aurora Borealis, with its ethereal dance of colors, captivates onlookers in a way that no other phenomenon can. These natural marvels remind us of the unparalleled creativity and artistry of nature itself. In the sphere of personal experiences, moments that are unparalleled stand out as shining gems in the narrative of our lives. It might be the overwhelming joy of holding one's child for the first time, an achievement born out of years of dedication and hard work, or the moment of profound connection felt with another soul. These experiences defy comparison because they are deeply personal, etching themselves into our hearts and memories with a significance that is ours alone. The concept of unparalleled also finds expression in acts of kindness and humanity. Consider the selfless deeds of those who dedicate their lives to helping others, often in the face of great adversity. Their acts of compassion and altruism are unparalleled not just in their magnitude but in the depth of impact they have on the lives they touch. Stories of such incredible generosity and kindness inspire us to believe in the goodness of humanity. In the world of innovation and discovery, unparalleled achievements are those that have dramatically altered the course of human history. The invention of the internet, for instance, has connected the world in ways previously unimaginable, creating a global network of knowledge and communication that is unparalleled in its scope and impact. Unparalleled, therefore, is more than a superlative. It's a recognition of the extraordinary, a testament to the fact that in every field, in every aspect of life, there are things, moments, and people that stand out as incomparable. To acknowledge something as unparalleled is to appreciate the rarity of its existence, to marvel at the confluence of circumstances, talent, and effort that brought it into being. In a broader sense, the idea of unparalleled reminds us to look for and cherish the unique and extraordinary in our own lives and in the world around us. It encourages us to strive for excellence, to push the boundaries of what is known and achievable, and to celebrate the singular beauty in ourselves and in the world around us. The unparalleled is not just a benchmark of greatness. It is a source of inspiration, a reminder of the boundless potential that resides within each of us and in the world we inhabit. Compassion, a word that flows like a gentle stream, touching the banks of our shared humanity. It's more than an emotion or a simple act of kindness. It is a profound understanding, a deep-rooted empathy that connects one soul to another. Compassion is the golden thread that weaves through the tapestry of human experience, binding us in our shared joys and sorrows, triumphs and struggles. In its essence, compassion is the ability to see beyond oneself, to step into another's shoes and feel the weight of their journey. It's not just about feeling sorry for someone. It's about truly understanding their pain, their fears, their hopes, and their dreams. It's a heart-wide-open approach to the world, where the lines between self and other blur in the most beautiful way. Compassion is a force, a powerful and transformative energy. It's the hand that reaches out in the darkness, the warm embrace in times of despair, the soothing word when the heart is troubled. It's seen in the everyday acts of kindness that often go unnoticed, in the gentle words of a teacher encouraging a struggling student, in the patient care of a nurse tending to the sick, in the comforting presence of a friend 
who doesn't need to speak to make you feel heard. Throughout history, compassion has been the cornerstone of great humanitarian efforts and movements. Think of figures like Mother Teresa, whose compassion for the poor and sick of Calcutta moved her to dedicate her life to their service. Or Nelson Mandela, whose compassion for his people and his oppressors alike helped dismantle the chains of apartheid. These stories remind us that compassion has the power to heal wounds, bridge divides, and change the course of history. In our personal lives, compassion manifests in countless ways. It's the parent who holds their child through a storm of emotions, teaching them that it's okay to feel and express their feelings. It's the stranger who pays for another's meal, the friend who listens without judgment, the partner who supports without condition. These acts create ripples that extend far beyond the immediate moment, touching lives in ways we may never fully know. Compassion also plays a crucial role in our relationship with ourselves. It's the voice of gentle understanding when we falter, the embrace of self-forgiveness when we stumble. Practicing self-compassion allows us to navigate our imperfections and challenges with grace, acknowledging that to be human is to be beautifully flawed. In the realm of nature, compassion is reflected in the intricate interdependence of all living things. The trees that provide oxygen, the bees that pollinate flowers, the rivers that nurture the land, each element supports the other in a delicate, compassionate balance. The power of compassion lies in its simplicity and its profundity. It doesn't require grand gestures or heroic acts. It starts with a smile, a kind word, or a listening ear. It's nurtured in the small, everyday interactions that collectively shape the quality of our lives. Compassion teaches us that every person we meet is fighting their own battle carrying their own unique burden. It reminds us that in each of these individuals lies a story worth understanding, a heart capable of love and pain just like ours. By choosing compassion, we choose to acknowledge our shared humanity, to celebrate our interconnectedness, and to make the world a kinder, gentler place. In embracing compassion, we find that it not only changes the lives of others, but transforms our own. It opens our hearts, expands our minds, and fills our lives with a deeper sense of purpose and connection. Compassion, in all its quiet strength and humble power, is not just a virtue, but a way of living, a path that leads us to a more fulfilling, more connected, and more meaningful existence. Inspiration a word that whispers to us of muses and moonlight skies, of the sudden rush of ideas like a spring storm, and of quiet moments that gently nudge the soul awake. It's a word that defies easy definition, for it is as elusive as the wind and as powerful as the tides. Inspiration is the spark that ignites the fire of creativity, the unseen hand that guides the brush of the artist, the pen of the writer, and the mind of the inventor. At its heart, inspiration is an awakening. It's a moment of clarity when the fog lifts and the path forward is suddenly illuminated. It can come like a thunderbolt, unexpected and electrifying, jolting us out of complacency and into action. Or it can come as a whisper, a subtle shift in perception that changes everything. It is both profoundly personal and universal a shared thread that connects the tapestry of human experience across time and space. Throughout history, inspiration has been the driving force behind humanity's greatest achievements. It moved Galileo to peer into the heavens and challenge the beliefs of his time. It danced in the dreams of Martin Luther King Jr., who envisioned a world where people were judged not by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. In each case, inspiration acted as a catalyst, transforming vision into reality. In the arts, inspiration is the wellspring of creativity. It is the muse that visited Shakespeare, guiding his hand to pen plays that would endure for centuries. It's the force that drove Van Gogh to paint with such passion and intensity that his canvases vibrated with emotion. In these moments, 
Inspiration transcends the individual, allowing them to create works that touch the hearts and minds of others. In our everyday life, inspiration can be found in the most ordinary of places. It's in the laughter of a child, the beauty of a sunset, or the melody of a song. It's in the stories of those who have overcome great obstacles, showing us the strength of the human spirit. These everyday inspirations remind us to look for the magic and wonder that surrounds us. Inspiration also plays a vital role in our personal journeys of growth and self-discovery. It's the voice that urges us to pursue our passions, to step out of our comfort zones, and to strive for our best selves. It's the force that pushes us to take risks, to dream big, and to persevere in the face of adversity. Yet inspiration is not just about grand visions and lofty goals. It's also about the small daily actions that add up to a life well lived. It's the kindness of a stranger, the wisdom in a friend's advice, or the courage of a leader that inspires us to be better, to do better. These moments of inspiration weave a thread of positivity and possibility through the fabric of our everyday lives. In moments of darkness, inspiration serves as a beacon of hope. It's the light that guides us through difficult times, reminding us that there is always a way forward. It's the stories of resilience in the face of tragedy, of communities coming together in times of need that inspire us to believe in the goodness of humanity. Inspiration, therefore, is not just a fleeting moment of creativity. It is a force that moves us, that shapes our destinies, and that drives the story of humanity forward. It is both deeply personal and profoundly universal. A reminder that within each of us lies the potential to create, to change, and to inspire. In embracing inspiration, we open ourselves to a world of possibilities, to the beauty of the unknown, and to the joy of discovery. We learn that to be inspired is to be alive in the truest sense, connected to the endless wellspring of wonder that exists within and all around us. And with that, my friends, we come to the end of our Vocabulary Voyages episode. I hope you learned a lot, but above all, I hope you had a good time. And since you're still listening to this, I really appreciate the time you dedicated to listen to my episode. And if you can spare a few more moments of your time, perhaps you will consider following English Plus on your favorite podcast listening app and share this episode with your friends and family. Share it with those people that you know will enjoy our content as much as you did. By doing this, you will help me reach more people and you will help those people you love learn something new. It is a win-win. And if you would like to take it a step further, you can support me on Patreon to help me continue with my mission to bring quality and fun education to everyone around the world. You can find the link to my Patreon page in the description of this episode. Don't forget to take your learning even further on my website, EnglishPlusPodcast.com. And there's a link in the description of the episode that will take you to the custom post I created for this episode with all the interactive activities and other extras that I hope you will find fun and beneficial. Also, please take the time to leave a comment on that post to let me know what you think and to start a conversation about our episode today. And with that being said, I want to thank you very much for listening to my podcast, English Plus. This is Danny signing off and may you find love in everything you do in life. I'll see you next time.